What is up, you guys? It is your boy, Gian here from Poom Plot. Welcome back to another farming simulator 19. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness, have things changed on this map? Things have changed on this map. Merry Christmas. Happy uh, Friday, if you don't do the Christmas. But hey, it's it'll be Christmas for you guys right now. Uh, I will be streaming tonight around 8 p.m. Playing that Vistar cleanup game. And then Saturday, I'm not sure about yet. But anyway, how y'all doing? Happy Christmas. I streamed this map the other day, and I got some things to show y'all. Wednesday afternoon, I streamed. And I did stuff. <laughs> you guys know I bought 22. I did that a while back. Cut down the trees. Or I was planning on cutting down the trees. I started down here. And then I took loan and and, and it, I took loan to buy twenty-three. And and then I uh found money between selling some TMR and wheat or sorry, barley. I found enough money to buy uh twenty twenty-four and twenty-six in the that lot. So Oh, it's not as impressive as it looks. I've cut down a ton of trees, but for some reason it's not tracking. It doesn't like, it must not like this new chipper. This is a newer chipper thing that I'm using. And uh, I'm assuming it doesn't like it because if we look, yeah, it didn't count that tree. So for some reason it's not counting the trees and it, I don't know why it's kind of frustrating. The other thing that I did on Wednesday, well, I guess, I guess, okay, those bins are new and, and another trailer, that trailer's leased. So are those bins. I was just using them for the process and I had to put, I put a bin over here as well for one very particular reason. Didn't know this at the time, but I found out kind of after stream, um, our storage in the homestead only holds 15 million. So we have a million plus in that bid. Yeah, and about 10 of that million, okay. We had about 5 million, about 5 million in the, the brush stripper that we had been using. So 10 million liters of wood chips is what I got the other day uh, during stream. So that's like, that's a lot, you know, that really is a lot. That's kind of, it's kind of insane to me, honestly, how many wood chips that actually is. That is a whole bunch. So I figured I would just come on here and do some wood chipping for you guys. Um, just so you can see how fast this thing is. This is from, um, the realistic gaming honor realism guys, whatever. I, I'm not really sure. I need to talk to Matt about them and just like, I know they're on Facebook and they have a discord, but that's all I know. I don't know if they like stream or YouTube. I don't know. I've never looked them up or anything. So I should probably do that. Huh? Love the chipper here. Just saying everybody else can get it to work in the lowered position where you just drive and it just eats, eats trees and stumps. I cannot get it to work to do that. I have to raise and lower, which is fine because I have buttons on the top of my mouse. So I've put my, you know, V as a button that I push with my pointer finger on my mouse. So it's really not bad to have to raise and lower it all the time. I'm just saying it's not bad at all. I actually don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. And, uh, it's pretty great. Not going to lie. So. So there's that. So if you guys are wondering, you know, a little, uh, life update, I guess, or whatever, I don't know. We had a super, super low key Christmas Eve. You know, the theory was that we're not having any get togethers in my family. And then my one brother who, uh, some of you OGs might know that that might give it away. Decided just, Oh, I'm going to just going to break that. I'm just going to come over and walk in your house. Uninvited, unannounced, just, Hey, I'm going to walk in your house. And it's like, well, that's, that's great. And then come to find out he was just over at my sister's. So it's like, 
you know, we're not getting, we're not you having get togethers. Why are you, why are you just driving around from place to place? You know, it didn't really make sense to me, but I'm not here. I'm not here to complain about him or that situation, but basically we just had a super low key, uh, Christmas Eve. I streamed Christmas Eve morning for a couple hours, played some ATS two and a half hours. Got a bunch of, of the Christmas loads done. Pretty happy about that. Not going to lie. So basically guys, I'm trying to take down all the trees. Over there's gonna kind of stink a little, but that's okay. Um, super low key though, guys, just not really doing much. It is freakishly cold here in St. Louis as well, and I know a lot of you are dealing with colder temperatures, but cold is a relative term, you know. It's cold for St. Louis. I know that my cold is not cold in Minnesota, or in Wisconsin, or. Name the place. You know what I'm saying? Like, my cold is different than your cold. Those people that go to Florida and it's 50 degrees and they're cold. You know? Sorry if you guys just heard that team speak noise, Carson. Or somebody's DMing me. And who's DMing me in team speak? Who's messaging me in team speak? I honestly don't know who it is. It's not him. It's not any of them. Uh, I'm in that channel by myself. Something got said there. I don't know. I'll have to pay attention to that later. I don't know. I just heard team speak noise. I heard it earlier too when I was sitting out here. Anyway, um, yeah, cut down all these trees, and make make my Jondo field. My Jondo field's a lot more like real than I thought it was gonna be at this point. You know. Because I just kept going on stream, and I mean, yeah, I had to sell the barley at not an ideal price, and I actually sold a couple loads of TMR. But as you guys saw in that video, the last video or two videos ago, it was the last video, I had plenty of TMR in storage, and I still do. So I need to compact silage, and I'll have another round of silage to sell as well. I think I kind of want to plant a field, um, plant, plant a field of corn. And do a massive silage harvest or chaffing and then have all that to sell too. Um, the other thing that I did, actually, I was going to talk about this and I got, I got sidetracked. I went ahead and uh, upped my days in seasons because I feel like I just don't get anything done. So now we're on six day seasons instead of three. So we doubled, we doubled our year. And uh, I just feel like that's going to be better. You know, I don't want to probably go any farther than six days, but I just felt like I wasn't getting anything done. And then I'm like, oh, it's winter again. Oh, okay, we got a mess of snow and it's cold and, you know, I don't know. Uh, so I, I went ahead and increased it. Just, just because, and I can always change it back. You know, when it comes winter, I could always just turn it down to three days and get through winter. Because let's be real, outside of selling wood chips, I'm not really going to have a lot to do for winter. So... And I guess take care of my animals because I do have the, all the, the cows and the, the sheepers. So we'll still have to take care of them, but won't be a lot of work to do come winter. You know, it just really won't be. So there's that. But yeah, basically, guys, I would chip for like, I don't know, I streamed for like five and a half hours and I would chip for probably four and a half of it at least. Because like I did run some like you know, TMR myself and that kind of stuff. You know, I did, I did do some of the stuff myself, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of, kind of a lot of wood chipping. I mean, you can actually probably tell, I can't tell. I have to go look at the wood chipper itself in the, uh, like the shop and see how many hours are on it. Cause that should tell you, that should be a good, good hint, you know? But with two of those trailers running with the uh, 200,000 liter tippers, they're not bad. I do think I'm going to go with the million tippers. Um, because 200,000 liters to move 16 million and I'm adding to it at a pretty good clip here. I kind of don't want to, you know, spend that much time watching course play drive around circles. But if I go to a million trailer, obviously that cuts my trips down drastically. Right now it'd be just over 16 trips, which is still a fair bit, you know. So basically what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just going to chuck them in this bin. And then that tractor, that 1050 that's on there, will pull it back to 
the bin. I know that's not super realistic. Obviously, putting wood chips into a auger wagon is not realistic. Obviously, this chipper is not realistic. I know. But I need to get these trees out, and uh, it's the fastest, easiest way to get the trees out, you know? It really is. So, if you guys are interested in the, uh, the stream where I did all the wood chipping, if you guys want to see it, uh, that should be out. Let's see. It's actually uploading right now. It is 45% uploaded, so it probably won't be out till Saturday. To be honest, because it's it's a it's a big file. It's like almost 100 gigs, I believe. So it probably won't be out till Saturday. Plus, I gotta kind of stop it so I can upload this video. So this video goes live when it's supposed to. So yeah. By the way, super low key Christmas coming at your face too for us. Just saying. Be on a live stream, like I was saying, at 8 p.m. or so. Playing some visceral cleanup detail. Beyond that, I don't have any other plans to stream during the day. Or anything. Just kind of chilling with the family. Probably going to make like a like a late breakfast. A brunch, if you will. I'm going to make some biscuits and gravy. I bought some biscuits the other day. Actually trying these new ones I've never had. Normally... You know, if we're going to buy biscuits, we'll get like the canned, you know, canned biscuits. And eh, they're okay, you know. But I was at Sam's Club the other day and they had like pre-made frozen biscuits. And they're like Pillsbury Grand. I mean, those are pretty good biscuits usually. So I was like intrigued. So I got some. And, uh, make some biscuits and gravy. We'll go to Texas and eat them. Biscuits and gravy. You know. For you OGs. <laughs> Only the OGs get that joke. Yeah, that's that's an old joke right there. Uh, the Christmas light video is up. If you guys haven't seen that yet, please go check that out. I would appreciate it. Good video. Carson did his editing to it. and It's a good time. It's a good time. Took me uh, twice of filming to get, get it done right. Everything's so bright. Everything is so bright out there. It's crazy. But it looks good and uh, people really seem to like it. Um, I know I talked, I think I talked about like that, the, the ladies with the two kids. I think I talked about that video or that they showed up for like the uh, Christmas lights and they were standing outside and like I could hear them in the garage here. And uh, yeah, I hit record on my camera and I finally, I showed my video, that video to my dad the other day and he just laughed the whole time. It's like it it's kind of one of those things where it's like wow that actually makes it worth it you know i'm just saying i'm gonna leave some of these trees here i don't need to cut them down they're not in the way of the field they may end up going eventually but that obviously i'm not gonna i could landscape right over that water but i'm not going to we'll leave a little scenery around you know we'll probably just dip in here somewhere and continue the cutting the clear cutting and that can always go eventually you know definitely 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 can go oh yeah it's so i was saying it's cold right i'm gonna have to actually look at my phone to get the actual the actual numbers for you guys bear with me i'm looking at my phone currently I know, bad idea while streaming, or not, I'm not streaming though. A bad idea while I'm streaming, but, uh, what streaming am I? Goodness me. Yo, so I said something about Saturday, like, I don't know what I'm doing Saturday on stream. My dad actually has the day off, which is very rare for him to have, like, an extra day off at a holiday. So I think we're just gonna, like, farm time it. He said that I could do what I want and he's going to do what he wants, but we got projects we're doing at the farm that kind of require both of us. So yeah. So currently guys, it is, uh, it's Christmas Eve night at 10 o'clock. It just hit 10, 10 02. And, uh, it is currently 17 degrees outside and feels like a whopping plus three with a 14 mile per hour wind to get it down there. Now, I know that's not cold for some of you guys, so don't, like, come at me in the comments because we already had that happen on stream. But, like, for St. Louis, 
That's pretty cold. Now we do get colder. We do get colder here in St. Louis. So it's not like that's as cold as it ever could be. Cause that's definitely not the case, but that's the first, first shot this, you know, this winter, this, this 2019, 2000 or 2020, 2021, like winter season. It's definitely the first shot we've had. And whenever you get that first shot, it's like, Oh, that's extra cold. And then by the time it starts warming up, you're like, man, 30 is nice. <laughs> you know, that's usually the way it goes. So little chilly out there right now. Not going to lie. And me being the smart one this morning to, to, when I came out to the garage, I turned my heat on, which is outside and like a little, little unit things outside. I stepped out there barefoot. I think concrete was like, you know, 20 degrees at that time, maybe less. It was kind of cold and I, I skadoodled right back in the house as fast as possible. And then I had to go out a couple other times today and I made sure to like put shoes on, you know, <laughs> concrete's kind of cold. I'm just saying it's kind of brutal. All right, let's just go empty. We're close enough to being full. But you guys can see, I mean, you actually, you can knock out trees quite rapidly. The only thing that would make this operation better, well, there's two, two possibilities here. One would be, okay, there's three possibilities. One would be multiplayer, have somebody run to me and empty me and run it back to storage via a truck or another wagon or whatever. That would be very helpful. The other thing that would work is if you could have course play come to you with the chipper and empty the chipper. That would be pretty slick. Or, and I'm sure I could do this. I just have it, uh, oh, I have it yawned all yet. I'm like, oh, in 10 minutes, holy cow. Um, <laughs> the other thing would be to just bump capacity in the actual chipper. It's like 67,000 or something or whatever it is. But it's a hundred million, you know, get her done. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because well, that other brush chipper that I normally use is 500 million. And that is that is a bit excessive, I will say. But. But. It, it kinda, it's kind of nice to have, you know, because you just go. You don't ever have to worry about emptying. You just drive on, you know. It's so much better. So Now, you have to stomp behind it. And it's way slower actually eating the trees. That's why I don't want to use it. I'd rather use this because A, it eats trees. And B, it takes care of the stumps. If I just have to take a split second and lower my, uh, and lower the implement down to take care of the stump, I'm okay with that. Like I said, I got it set up on my mouse. So it's not like I'm searching for V every time on the keyboard, you know? Just saying, it's, it's pretty slick, not gonna lie. It is pretty slick. Yeah, you guys can see, I mean, it's just mows trees. So, but like I said, everybody else says they can get it to work with it in the lowered position. For some reason, I can't get that to work for me. So it is what it is, but it just melts pretty great. Unlike our weather, <laughs> speaking of that, it's kind of funny. So like yesterday. Yeah, so like Wednesday, Christmas Eve Eve. While I was streaming, actually, it started raining. It rained. It didn't rain a lot, but it rained enough to kind of mess things up. Well, it was so windy yesterday that I didn't let my inflatables go up. Actually, that was the second day I didn't let my inflatables go up. Today was the third day. I did uh, go out eventually and turn them on, but they weren't on at their normal time like they're supposed to be. And... Uh, yeah, I go out, like I turn the inflatables on and I look out through my security cameras and I'm like, yeah, something just doesn't look right to that one or the other one or the other one or the other one. And like all of them had problems except for the ladder. The ladder was okay. I have a ladder inflatable. It goes up to my gutter. It's pretty, pretty, pretty funny because it's got like two elves and Santa climbing a ladder to get on your roof, you know, anyway, um, yeah, so inflatables, 
Yawn break. Sorry. Holy cow. For those of you that don't do Christmas displays and stuff, inflatables like to hold water. So, which actually makes it interesting at the end of the season because I always like to get mine uh, super dry. So, I might leave inflatables out an extra day or two and just run them to run them, like in middle January. Like, hoping to get just enough sunshine and, and enough temperature. Usually, it's a temperature thing. Come on, game. Uh, usually, it's a temperature thing. If I can get it, you know, above freezing, then the fan pushes the water out. Because, like, the inflatables aren't airtight, watertight, whatever. And so, the fan will do a really good job of pushing that water out. But always like to make sure they're dry. Super, super dry. So, I don't want, like, to pull it out next year and have, like, a bunch of mold on it or something. I don't know. Kind of, kind of freaks me out every time. So, always try to make sure they're nice and or nice and dry. I've actually taken them. I brought one in the house one time, and like turned it on and put a box fan on it, just to help it like dry. And then one year we took all of them, all of them that we had that year, and we took them to uh, somebody in my family. Well, one of the people in my family. We took them to their garage, and like. Turned on a heater and, and their garage is fairly well insulated. Turned on a, a heater and, and turned them on and blew them up and actually let them run for like all day to get them dried out because they were so wet. So, yeah, not, not a good thing to have them wet. I never have like put them away when they're wet, but yeah, so they're, they are very frozen right now is what I'm trying to get at. I don't think they're going to thaw out tomorrow, like Christmas Day. Our high temperature, I don't believe, is getting above freezing tomorrow. Again, looking at my phone, sorry. No, I shouldn't be. Yeah, so Friday for us, Christmas Day, the 24th. Or sorry, 25th. Ah, got you guys. Um, the high temperature is 29. Now, 29 with some sunshine, which they're supposed to be a little, they'll thaw out. They will thaw out. They're pretty thin, so they'll, they'll take that heat. They'll thaw out enough to uh, break out of that ice. Like, Santa would barely stand up tonight. The Santa, I have a 12-foot tall Santa in my side yard, which if you guys have seen the video, you know what I'm talking about. He was, like, leaning towards the street real hard because that's the way he was when the rain hit. And so, like, his beard and stuff is just all ice. He kind of does look like Old Man Winter right now. Not going to lie. But uh, it's kind of funny. A little bit. So, yeah. Who's ready for a, for a plowing video? Man. I'm excited for that. I try to do some streaming. Some recording. I don't know. I could make a high speed out of it. I am going to let everything mature up first. The sugar beets need to mature. The uh, oats here, the oats are withered, but we do have cotton and uh, canola. So we will let everything mature out and then we'll make it a field. So that's kind of the strategy that I have right now with it is just to go ahead and let everything mature out. I'll harvest everything. I'm not going to fertilize these other fields. Because I'm not going to soil sample until I am done plowing. That way I get all the data of the plowed parts too. So I will be waiting for the precision, which means my fields, those fields probably need fertilizer in line. Uh, the new ones that I picked up so they would have better crop, but it's whatever. I'll make, I'll, I'll make enough money off wood chips that Money's not going to really matter anymore. You know what I'm saying? You got 16, over 16 million liters. Like, I'm, what? It's kind of crazy if you think about it, you know? Like, that's a lot of wood chips. So, you know, as I was saying, million liter trailers, here I come. It's 200,000 liters. I mean, they'll do it, but like, Man, that would take, that would take all day. That would take all day to haul. I mean, it's probably going to be like 17 to 18 million. I mean, how much is in this bin already? There's a million right now. 
a million in that bin. I already dumped like two loads in the other bin. So that's million four plus this other like half a load. So basically million five just from, you know, this 25 minutes I've been going or whatever. However long this video is almost 25 minutes now. That's crazy. It's it's yeah. If I didn't have to empty, it would be a lot more efficient, but having an empty is not terrible. It could be better, of course, but that speedboat there could really kind of not be a thing. And I wouldn't be heartbroken. Just saying. Would not be upset. And I love, I love how fast this thing eats trees, though. It's pretty great. To eat trees and still get the, uh, the leftovers, we'll call it, the wood chips, it's great. Absolutely great. And take care of the stumps, man. Just like icing on the cake, you know? Like, yeah, I want my cake and I'm going to eat it too. I don't know what this is like. You know, you got the best of like both things going here. That's fantastic. I just need higher speed hydros on the front. Crank that thing up, slam it to the ground, raise it back up. You know, that'd be pretty good. Actually, not going to lie. That would be pretty good. So you guys got to let me know in the comments. what you guys get for Christmas? Or what did you guys get other people? Like what was your favorite gift to give, you know, to a parent, a sibling, a loved one, whatever, you know, what was your favorite gift to give? That's, that's the, that's the question guys. Uh, I didn't really do a lot this year. Christmas is like I said, very low key in my family. And, uh, I'm hoping the thing I got my dad works out. I got him some drill bits. And uh, hopefully he doesn't watch this video before I give them to him. <laughs> he shouldn't. But, uh, I mean, they're laying in my living room. They're just in the Amazon package, so he doesn't know they're there. But I bought him this set of drill bits a couple of years ago, and it was one of those, like, 9,000-piece drill bits set for $20. And, I mean, I knew they were junk. I knew they were junk, okay, going into it. But it was more of like, can you believe they make such a big set of drill bits? I had to buy it. You know, it was that kind of, that was my thought process, you know? So really junk bits. We've used a couple over the, the years that a couple years we've had it now. And, uh, we just have nothing but problems with them. He tried to drill one little hole in our X mark laser the other day where we're mounting a relay for the lights. And he ruined like four bits out of that set. And he, they wouldn't break. They would just like come untwisted. You know how drill bits are twisted or, you know, they're cut, look like they're twisted, whatever. It would just come untwisted. It was like the weirdest thing. So I got online and I found a set of supposed to be cobalt bits. Cause like the cobalt bits are really good. I like cobalt brand, but like actual cobalt or whatever. They're really good bits. I, we have a bunch of cobalt bits down there that we use that we really like. So yeah. And the other day, actually, he had me going. I sharpened drill bits for like 45 minutes the other day. We have a drill doctor. And uh, we never really like, we use it a little bit. We not, I think a drill doctor is like one of those things where the more you use it, the better you're going to be with it. And so I've, I've been, I kind of took that role of using, uh, using the drill doctor. So. I can do okay on smaller bits with it, but anything with a little bit of size, forget it. And it's made for, it's made for the bits I'm trying to do. Just forget it. Absolutely forget it. Actually, fun story about that, uh, funny story about the old, uh, drill doctor. A couple years ago, I posted a picture on Instagram and the caption was what's in the box. Or something to that effect. I think it's still on my Insta. I don't think I deleted it. But I never answered what was in the box. Because I planned on making a video on the the drill doctor when we got it. But when we got it out of the box, we had such problems with it. We couldn't figure stuff out. I was ruining bits like crazy. Of course, we were trying to do bigger bits. 
once I kind of like put it down, watched some videos about it and stuff, and I was like, oh, maybe let's try some smaller bits. I'm I'm okay on it. And actually, Dad was using some of the bits I had sharpened the other day, and he said they were real good. And uh, so I, I just never made a video of it because we were kind of disgusted when we got it. We're like, man, we spent all this money, and this thing's kind of garbo, but you got to just pull, you know, get like your cheap bits out and just kind of mess with them a little bit. Figure out a few things about it. So, But yeah, we've had it like three or four years now, and... Like I said, I posted that picture, what's in the box, and I never answered the question. <laughs> People guessed, too. I wonder if any of you guys, do you guys remember that post on my Insta, like, from years ago? Because that would be hilarious. But yeah, it was like a drill doctor. That's what was in the box. And I just never answered it, because we were so disgusted with the thing at the time. We just couldn't stand it. To be completely honest. All right, we are just about done here with trees on this part. We are rocking this. I didn't really intend on doing a whole video on this, but I'm in the groove, you know? I'm in the groove, man. We're, we're grooving. We're 70% full with this wagon. We're just taking a minute to line it up. I got to do those trees, and they're not nearly as dense, so they won't be a problem. These are a little dense over here, you know? They're real, real dumb dumbs. But not that kind of dense. Never mind. You know what I mean, right? But, um,. Yeah, I'm just kind of in the groove, so I'm just going to sit here and do some do some wood cutting for you guys. I did kind of want to make a longer video today because, hey, it's Christmas for you guys. It's awesome. You guys have like a like a Christmas traditions that you guys do or like favorite Christmas memory. I've talked a lot about how like when we were kids, we'd always go down to grandma's for Christmas Eve. And then, like, it was a big deal. All the cousins, all the aunts and uncles, and everybody was there from my mom's side. That was a big deal. Actually, dad's side, when I was growing up, we would always go out to my aunt's house on New Year's Day. That's when she would have us out. We'd have kind of Christmas with her. It was never, like, as a big deal as the other side because they only had, like, one kid that lived in town and... So like one of my cousins from, from that, that side there only lives in town. And then we would just kind of go hang out, have some dinner, watch some football. <laughs> Usually there was football, maybe play a card game or something and, uh, just kind of hang out. So we did that for a lot of years. We did that for a lot of years. I guess one of the big traditions we always, always do and still do is make like a pretty legit breakfast, you know, on Christmas day. So we, you know, and I, I plan on kind of buzzing it out tomorrow. Not going to lie or today for you guys. Maybe I'll take a, a picture of the spread. I don't know. I'll just be doing fat guy stuff. At least I have my appetite back now a little bit. So a whole lot more than I had like Wednesday when I recorded the last video. So and it's Thursday night now and I actually ate dinner, like a really good dinner too. I made meatballs and mashed potatoes. I've gotten gotten the snack for making meatball, meatballs. I kind of remember the recipe that mom used, but at the same time, I kind of guess. And just like dump stuff in the mixer and mix it up. <laughs> there you go. Here's some meatballs. Because <laughs> that's all mom kind of did too. She just kind of dumped. She didn't really have like a, have a recipe for it. You know, it was just like put stuff in the mixer and mix it up and put it in them. Either a meatloaf or uh, or for meatballs, basically the same, it's the same recipe. Their quote unquote recipe, same thing she always used for bowls. So, yeah, kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Actually, that reminds me. I got the the mixer thing is broken. We have like a KitchenAid stand mixer. Mom was all about her kitchen gadgets. So, you name a kitchen gadget, we probably have it or have had it. Um. But uh, the KitchenAid mixer thing, like the, the mixer paddle thing. I don't keep bringing up course play. Quick, click on that button, John. The mixer paddle thing is like cracked. That's like cast. Cast steel or something, too. So I got to see if I can find a new one. I don't use the mixer a lot, but when I do, it sure is handy to have, you know. Um, but I'm not a big, big mixer guy too often. So I probably should go cut down all those trees. They just kind of look weird there. But that's not for right now. 
that's for future consideration. I'm just saying. Alright, so that thing's going to be pretty full. Let's grab the trucks. We can follow me some trucks, you know? Because these each hold 200k. So if we go and just kind of station them. Kind of just station them over here, then we'll be good to go. That bin holds a million there. I thought that was going to be big enough the other day. Boy, was I wrong with our... But well, we got 10 million wood chips the other day, basically. Almost 11, actually. So... Yeah, about 11 million total is what I ended up getting. So... Pretty great. Alright. That's gotta be about full, right? Yeah, 90... Okay. Let's go take this to empty. And then we'll uh, continue on those trees there and just keep on rolling for you guys. Why not? I know it's probably not the most thrilling content ever, but hey. If you guys need to escape from, you know, Christmas, I guess this could be a good one. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go ahead and get this emptied out, emptying. And actually, I could drag that bin over because this thing does take a minute to empty, you know. 1.8 million liters here. Actually, it would have held almost, almost another uh, bin full. So, pretty close. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem moving this big bin. It does not like to turn. It kind of likes the bully, not going to lie. Oh, yeah. All right, empty this out. There we go. That magic PTO. It's got a pony motor, guys. You just don't see it. I swear. Okay. That. It's got a pony motor, guys. <laughs> All right. We'll go drive this over yonder a little bit. Just kind of have it stationed over here as well. This is a million, million two, million four, million six that I can hold between. And plus a little bit extra, another 70,000 or something. Between the two trucks and this bin. That's not bad. We'll see how far we get with that, plus our other wagon. As well. All right. Well, let's uh, pitter patter. Pitter to patter. Let's go, boys. Let's cut down some more trees. And watch, just for reference, it says that we've cut down three trees. So, yeah, I will say we're at 96 hours on the map, guys. We're getting close to 100 hours. 100 hours into this map already. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. All righty. What is there, like kind of three rows? Kind of. Some of these trees are tiny. They will go fast. These tiny trees might go with it lowered. No, see, they don't do it either. I don't know what to think about that one. Like, the thing doesn't work for me like it works for everybody else. But I'm not complaining how it works. It works great. I love it. I don't mind having to raise and lower it. Because it just absolutely annihilates stuff, you know? All right, I'm going to try to go, like, down a row and then come back. And then go, like, down a row. Come back, kind of work the outside. Instead of all the back and forth that I was doing before. But yeah, so basically what I did, guys, at the bottom of... The bottom of 22 down here, I set up a course play. And I had it just running. At first, I did one truck with the million bin next to it. And I would just run to it, dump, and then go on my merry way. Well, the million bin started filling up. I was like, well, I just need a bigger bin, you know. Plus, I'm doing what I'm kind of doing now where I'm bringing the stuff to me and moving it around like I did with the 2 million bin a little while ago. So it's just like, it's not enough storage. I need more. And, you know, realistically, the trucks are running really far. Because, you know, 4X map after all. Yeah, I was just running to the homestead, but still, that's, that's a pretty good run sometimes, you know. I know where you're at, and then of course I had to have course play set up, so 
the trucks would not cross each other's path because I was going to run two. And at first, I just ran the one, but then I did get the second one going, of course. That helped a lot. Extra 200,000 on, on the move, you know? That helps a lot. We'll go down that way eventually. We won't go down there for now. We'll turn around. Gonna go work on this edge a little bit. Maybe come around the south side here. All right. Welcome to Missouri. They just toned out a stabbing. <laughs> uh. Yep, stabbing police request stage. Oh, I know where that's at, too. That's not in a bad, like, part of town, either. That's in a really good part of town. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Golly, man. It is the season, though. People get angry at each other around the holidays here. Somebody probably got somebody a lump of coal. And they didn't take it as a joke, you know. Pull out the knife and goes shank, shank, right? I don't know, something like it. All right, one. This bin holds a mill, so. Size says it shouldn't hold more than me, but. You know, it's taller and I guess it's wider. Yeah, it's a lot wider too, so. I can see it holding more. The, the Kuhlman numbers are a little skewed. I won't lie. They're a little all, uh. All a little big if you catch my drift you know but hey they work and they work quite well and i really like them uh that mod has been with i've used that mod for years cool men's came from 15 i believe just saying came from 15 i do believe so pretty neato not gonna lie all righty everyone bites the dust a but I got to something. Another one bites the dust. Do, 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 do. Another one bites the dust. I kind of turned it into dust. The wood chips, you know? Wood chips are kind of dirty, dusty, you know? I haven't had to mess with wood chips lately, like IRL. Seems like for a while we were always cutting some, something somewhere. Cutting the trees, bushes down. First, back when I used to cut grass, I did some of that for like my customers. So then you tend to do more because you're doing it for your customers. So I had that one job that time at a commercial property in the next town over, and uh, there had been a windstorm, and it went through that property and just annihilated trees. Absolutely annihilated them. So my brother and I. We were cutting the grass. And honestly, I kind of regret doing the job because the guy would never pay. The guy was literally one of those guys like, yeah, hey, cut my, cut my grass. And then you'd like knock on the door for payment. And he'd be like, what? I didn't tell you to cut. I didn't need it. You shouldn't have cut that. So we actually cut his house. We cut his commercial property, I think is how we got in with him. No, it must have been his house is how we got in. Anyway, we cut his house. We cut his commercial property that he wasn't. The problem was it was sitting empty. And he was not renting it. So therefore, he didn't have money coming in on it. So he didn't want to put money out on it. And uh, so we uh, actually cut a, a, a rental house that he had, too. We never got paid from those people either. That was supposed to be the renters paying us. They never paid us a dime. We cut it a couple times. And it was like, yeah. We're just done. We're just done, you know. Those people that don't want to pay, it's like, I'm just so done. And then we had this other customer, same same neighborhood. Same neighborhood as the guy that never wanted to pay. And his, and his rental house, same all same neighborhood. Uh, this other guy... He would take, he had a, like a DVD case and it was screwed up somewhere underneath of his deck. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. A DVD case, plastic case with a screw in it underneath his deck somewhere. And literally we never talked to the guy. 
we maybe talk to the person one time a year. They were kind of like the best customers ever, you know, from that aspect. And uh, he uh, just would put money in it every week. So we were like, hey, you know, with a so and so on his grass cut, I don't know, let me go check the DVD case. <laughs> and he had like a fenced in yard, it was behind a privacy fence, so, like nobody ever saw us like messing with it or, you know, getting our money out of it. So like nobody like in the neighborhood ever knew it was there. And uh, it was pretty slick. We actually tried doing that for the deadbeat guy too. For the guy that would never pay us and he would never put money in it. So finally we went there one time and my brother, who uh, is two years older than me, was very irate with the guy. Pretty angry with him, not going to lie. And the guy ended up paying up. He he wrote us a check and somehow it was good. I'm not, I don't know how. <laughs> That's half the problem was we, we got to the point where we didn't want to take checks from the guy. Because he was, he was bouncing them constantly. But anyway, um, the commercial property though, with the trees. It absolutely annihilated trees there. And it didn't like completely wipe out trees, but there were huge limbs out of these couple trees. We did have to get a man lift in there and like, you know, clean up some stuff with the man lift and whatnot. And we had an 18 foot trailer from where my dad works. Tandem axle, 18 foot trailer, pretty good size. We had that thing stacked and then I would jump up. I'd go on top of the pile and jump on it and jump on it and jump on it, move it, walk around, jump on it, jump on it, jump on it to, to mat it down so we could put more on. Cause the theory was get it done in one trip. Cause we took it to the farm, we burned it all, but it was the biggest load of what, of, uh, like tree branches and stuff we've ever, like, the most amount we've ever had on one trailer. Let me put it that way. It was insane. It was absolutely crazy. And for some reason, we only charged the guy like $250 and it was like thousand dollars worth of work minimum, but we didn't really do a lot of tree work then. So we were kind of cheap because we just didn't know any better. You know what I'm saying? We just didn't know. We flat just didn't know any better at that time. And that was a big learning experience for, for my brother and I, like a probably should get paid up front B, um, charge way more than you think you're going to have to. Or something like the trees tree job actually gonna go over here and fill this truck up just to have it full just to have it full it's funny i actually the end of my stream the other day i stopped or when i stopped stream, right before i stopped stream i took these trucks and i ran a circuit from the bin behind me to the homestead just to take all the wood chips to the homestead and then i realized when i came back look like i don't know a couple hours later after making dinner and stuff the trucks were just running and they had stuff in them and they were just dri driving in circles. And I'm like, what is going on here? This is so strange. Well, the, the bin at the homestead was full. So the trucks just couldn't empty. So they would come here, check for wood chips. Nope. There was no wood chips. Cause between the two trucks that they could hold what I had left and uh, they would just, okay, there's no wood chips here and just drive all the way down. Oh, we can't empty drive all the way back. So I don't know how long they drove back and forth apart. It was probably a while. To be completely honest, it was probably maybe 45 minutes or an hour. I'm not sure. <laughs> Reminded me of the guys in, uh, the guys in what's the movie? Oh my God. What's the movie? Hang on. I'm going to think of it. It's Wayne's world. The guys in Wayne's world with the, with the watermelons and the glass and the chickens. What are you guys doing? Moving it back and forth. Why? I don't know. That's what we do. Something like that. I'm not quoting exactly. Paraphrase. Paraphrasing there. But it was hilarious, man. It was really funny. So I'm actually kind of tempted. I don't know where wood chips are going to sell on this map. I would assume. You know what they say when, when you assume, right? There's mall. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of places that take wood chips. BGA. Really? 3K at the BGA? That blows every other price out of the water. Now, granted, actually, what's our, what's our price for wood chips supposed to be in here? Oh my gosh. 
1824 is our highest price in here. And I'm not running unit converts. So that's the same price. 3K. And that's an all year round price. Oh my goodness. Oh my. All right. I know it has to be done now. I know it has to be done. I have that bin up there at the BGA. I must haul all wood chips there and then use the auger wagons to sell wood chips. That's the strat, right? I can't believe they're three K. I could have sold those already and not had to take such a loan and sell my barley and oh my goodness. I've never looked at the price of wood chips. I guess. I wonder if it goes higher than 3k though. You know what? I guess last time I sold wood chips, I didn't own the BGA. So therefore I couldn't see the price, right? Oh my goodness. That's incredible. So I will start a video. I might do it on a stream. I do it on a video. I might do both. I'm not sure, but somehow I want to capture. Maybe I, maybe I just record that for like a high speed part. The selling of the wood chips. Like I won't record hauling them because that's going to take forever. Especially with the trailers I have, I should put in the millions, but we'll leave the uh, 200 thousands for now. It's a lot of trips. So good thing. Most of them are at the homestead. So they're closer. But the homestead bin takes a lot longer to fill a truck. I could put the uh, the auger wagon there to help. So I'm thinking I, I lease. Let's see. Actually, let's fly up there real fast. Um, let's go fly up there real fast just to make sure this is going to work. Because I'm, I'm kind of playing it in my head now. I think this would be really cool to do. All, mm. all the wood chips up to the BGA if it's going to work out gonna take forever but that's okay it's it's early now it's only like 10 40 for me i can i can set this up and just let it run horse play for the win all right it's up here somewhere wait i already passed it it's down here no it's up here <laughs> i don't know where i'm at oh mock me so all i'd have to do is go from here then Bins this way and then that way I can make that happen. I got to compact that grass too. Or do I put a bin closer? Cause these bins aren't trendy. I can put another bin like right here and then just run it right in. Conveyor belts. Conveyor belts would take forever. <laughs> Conveyor belts are so slow. They're so slow. That's okay. That's okay. I have an auger wagon dump on the ground and then I have a million machine running next to it. <laughs> Wait. Hey. We're done. We're done. That's all the chipping that we have to do. Now. Come on, autosave. Let's go for, um, uh, let's go for uh, a total number here real fast, guys. Do, 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 do. Sorry. TikTok song stuck in my head. That one, uh, I'm a ghost. That one. You seen that one? I'm sure you have if you watch the TikTok like I do. But I'm serious about putting a different bin up there. And, and cause I mean, I, I, these bins are not expensive. These bins are fairly cheap, you know, just saying yeah, they're 80 grand. They're, they're not as cheap as I thought. Never mind. Still 80 grand is nothing compared to like how much money we're about to make on wood chips. I, I, if you guys are still watching this, it didn't this late into the video, but almost an hour in now we're getting close to it. You guys let me know, should I wait for winter or should I just take, should I just take that price? Cause that's a good price. I feel like three K that's blown everything else out of the water, you know, turn off, turn off. There we go. Wrong button. 
but just like should i take the 3k or should i wait for winter i mean if the pricing thing matches up it's it's not double what we're gonna get in the winter but it's pretty close at 1800 to 3k obviously not double but like that's 1200 more so why wouldn't i just take that you know and that's a lot of money oh my god oh my goodness that's gonna like break the map not really but you know all right okay all wood chips are here a little 450,000 in here. Not too bad. Not bad at all. All right. We'll get these emptied out. And then I'll give you guys the total number. And then I think either way, I'm going to go ahead and haul them up there. Because I can kind of let that let that run anyway. So, I mean, it's gonna take a while to get them all up there, but I think it'll be kind of worth it, you know. And then if I I can just sell with bins, it'd be so much faster. Because these bins, I mean, the auger's fast on this on these bins, but the bins themselves are pretty pretty fast. They've been they've been tweaked. All right, so total number on wood chips. And this is, uh, let's see. This might be the trees up here too. I think it is. I've only sold wood chips one time and that was this field here. The two, three, five field. So this is one and eight. Almost all the trees around 25 because there are still some I left up there. The trees here between 25, 22, south of 22. In between 22, 23, south of 23, north of 23. All in between 24, 26, 23, north, east, and south of 26. All of this, okay? Total number? 19 million. <laughs> Just over 19 million. Oh my god, that's going to break the map. I can't wait. I'll have money. I'm going to buy equipment. I'm going to... I don't know if I'll buy more fields right away, but... You know, I'm looking, I'm looking across the river already, 20 and 21. I'm probably looking over here. I'm looking for a lot of equipment. Wow. So with that guys, you know what? Let's do this real fast. Oh my goodness. You see these, these from Stevie only hold 16 million, which is nothing. Cause I, I, what I want is to only have to haul or to be able to dump in here with, with, and that'd be slick if I could, if these bunkers weren't here, if this grass wasn't here right now, I would put a, I would rotate this around, just put it right there. One bin be done. Do, 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 do. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking guys. If I put this like right here. I can get in, get out. I can back a big bin in here. Maybe even put this over like this. Back a big bin at an angle. And maybe back another big bin at an angle. And if I need to, not a third bin. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do that right there. And that's where all the wood chips will be uh, when I sell them. I'll probably record that process just for funsies. So I'm actually going to set it up, but I'm not going to show you guys that because... You don't need to see me uh, struggle with the course play. Hey, first video in a while. I haven't struggled with course play. How about that? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great Christmas. Let me know all the good things I asked earlier in the comments or about for the comments, you know, all that good stuff. I will catch you guys back here with another one of these videos on Monday. Don't forget, I should be streaming at least sometime on Saturday. It might just be a night stream and not a day stream as well. Maybe just a old fashioned 6 p.m. stream. I don't know. Because uh, I think dad and I are going to go to the farm, so... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the wood chipping process with the OP chipper. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, a toodles.